Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Deep. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G. Well, it's finally time to talk about what is debatably the ocean's greatest predator. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're talking about the orca. Orsinus orca. Better known as the killer whale, it's the largest dolphin, recognizable thanks to their black and white bodies complete with a white spot near their mouth that, let's be real, we all thought was an eye at some point in our life. Orcas live throughout the globe, and like most whales, they're a very social species, living in ponds that are led by the oldest female, with the rest of the pod consisting mostly of her descendants. Male orcas usually stay with their group when they mature, although they will occasionally leave in order to find mates, but they eventually return to their moms, usually. Now, orcas are probably the most successful predators on the planet thanks to the fact that they have the brains and the brawn. Because of this, they can eat just about anything they want. But it has been noted that different populations of orcas seem to specialize in different kinds of prey. So while one pod mostly hunts seals, another pod could mostly go after fish. And when they hunt, orcas have many tricks up their sleeves in order to get food. For example, orcas are capable of temporarily beaching themselves, allowing them to grab food close to the shore. For another example, they're capable of working together to create waves that knock creatures on ice floats into the water. And in general, they're very good at teamwork, which allows them to even take on full-grown baleen whales. However, large whales are just about the only animals capable of driving them away, as they can use their flukes to slap them. In fact, humpbacks in particular seem to really hate them, as pods of them have been known to protect other animals from orcas, even things that aren't even whales. And, uh... Ugh. They're also the only predator of the great white shark. Though when they attack them, they only eat their livers, since that's their largest organ in the shark's body, and it's full of nutrients. Because of this, great whites have been known to flee areas if they detect an orca is nearby. See ya, orcas. The top predator of the sea. <sighs> also, much like cats, orcas like playing with their food before they eat it. So oftentimes, they'll start tossing around things like baby seals around while they're still alive before they even give them the sweet mercy of killing them. Yeah, orcas are, uh, a little messed up in the head. Oh uh, yeah, also there's the whole type A, B, C, D breed thing of orcas, but that's kind of a rabbit hole and I do not want to get into it here. Now let's look at the card. It's fine. Now let's talk about human relations. For the longest time, orcas were pretty feared animals. I mean, they're literally called killer whales. However, despite their name and reputation, orcas have never actually killed anyone. In the wild. I'll get back to that later. However, not everyone feared orcas, as many indigenous tribes had tales of orcas being either gods or beings of great power. Sometimes they're even thought to be connected to the afterlife, but like, in a good way. In media, orcas show up a decent amount of times, with the most famous example being the movie Free Willy, which is about a boy who saves an orca from an aquarium. There is also a Jaws ripoff about an orca, and I only bring that up because it included a scene where an orca kills a great white shark and what is clearly a jab at Jaws, and then in Jaws 2, there's a scene where there's a dead orca who is killed by a great white. Even though that could literally never happen in the wild, since as I said earlier, great whites will flee if they even remotely sense an orca is nearby. But then again, it's Jaws, and uh, this franchise isn't exactly known for getting facts about sharks, right? Now let's talk about the most infamous thing about orcas and humans. Let's talk about orcas in captivity. Several large aquari- No, that word's too good for them. Several large amusement parks with fish have orcas on display, and oh boy, you want to talk about animals that shouldn't be in captivity? Just look at orcas. To say captive orcas have issues would be an understatement. All sorts of health problems, like consistently having their dorsal fin collapse, which is something that only rarely happens in the wild, Shorter lifespans, wild orcas have a similar lifespan to humans, many captive orcas don't even reach their 30s, and many captive orcas have been driven to insanity thanks to a lack of room and the fact that they're crammed into pods of complete strangers. So you remember how I said that wild orca attacks are very rare and have never resulted in a fatality? Yeah, I only said wild for a reason, because captive orcas have killed before. <sighs> Most infamously was the SeaWorld employee Don Brancho, who was killed after being dragged underwater and thrashed around during a stage show. <sighs> so yeah, as you can probably guess, I am firmly against orcas in captivity, and I have yet to hear a good argument for why they should be there. <sighs> I've been Mr. G, this has been a depressing ending, and I'll see you guys next time when we switch over to something else. Goodbye.